Now from the beginning, food has been the essence of the survival of mankind. Now Buganda is the reason Uganda is referred to as the Matoke Republic, mainly because of their staple food, Matoke. Now today we are going to mainly focus on their staple food, how it is prepared, their food taboos that existed, among others. Nsanyo senyo, okubala baba nyabo, neva sevo. This is Know Your Roots and I'm your host, Atiang Laura. Know your roots, know your roots, yeah, 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 mama. Okay, now right here, I'm in the home of mama. She's called Nandaula. You didn't say any. She's going to show us how to prepare a meal, the staple food of the Baganda called Matoke. You know, as you can see here, we have the Matoke itself. We have a cup bowl. She's mm -hmm. going to explain to us why we need this little mm -hmm. basket here and then yeah, yeah. the fibers and all that. So let me leave it all to her. I hope we learned something today. The world is a many. Kakati mama, to hold the cook and a cup of gasanchi. We should be, you know. To take a movie, I even know. And maybe I have a gun that would be this villa. Now according to Mama Nandaula, when peeling the bananas, a Muganda woman is supposed to kneel down. However, peeling is also done by men. Sikanukiamatoke. <laughs> Waliyo go to the boat. Ela ne boba o sabika o fuka mira. Ngangendo gisiba kebi a yuda kufuka mira. Ola ne boinsa boba kuita kusabi kola ne boinsa mika. <laughs> For Matoke food to come out half cooked, what the Baganda call Okukona. Mama Nandaula says it does not depend on the type of matoke, but it depends on the way the matoke is wrapped before cooking and the amount of heat added for the matoke to boil. Mm. 
Buganda girls were taught how to peel their staple food matoke by the age of four. A banana would be peeled halfway by an older person and then given to the child to complete the removal of the banana peels. And Mama Nandaula tells us that uh, they learned how to peel as children in the banana plantations where they did the small cooking that people call toko toko today, if you remember that as a child. <laughs> Never <laughs> Traditionally, Baganda women were not allowed to eat the following foods. Chicken, pork, mutton, and fish, the one the Baganda call a mamba. I asked Mama Nandaula to tell us why women were not allowed to eat chicken, and this was her response. <laughs> Wrapping food in Luwombo is another way Baganda prepare their food, commonly known as sauce in Uganda. It can be groundnut paste, chicken, or meat. Luwombo is made of banana leaves that are not damaged or torn in any way. These banana leaves are passed over a flame of fire to soften them. Then you can put your spiced chicken, meat, or ground nuts, or whatever you want to put in there, and wrap it properly and put it on top of already wrapped matoke to boil on fire. Food in Luwombo is actually just steamed. For a standard wrapping of a family meal of matoke, you need approximately eight banana leaves. The first banana leaf is called oruariro, the base where the peeled bananas are put. Then the second banana leaf is called luwuwo, the one that is cut out into smaller pieces and put on top of the peeled matoke before the final wrapping is done. And the other six do the outer wrapping called emizingo.
Now as you can see our matoke is ready and Mama Nandaula has just removed it from the pan and is pressing it to soften it. And then she said that after it has been pressed properly, it is put back on fire for some time. This process is called kuboveza. The same amount of heat and water that was put to make the matoke boil to the point of getting ready is the same amount of heat put when the kubobeza is to be done. Matoke is put back on fire for some time.
Now for our dot com Baganda sisters, a Muganda woman should kneel down like this while serving food or when eating. Actually, Mama Nandaula told us that all children sit together and get their portions and eat as a family. Welcome back from that cooking session with Mama Nandaula. Now there is a proverb that says that the way to a man's heart is through his stomach. Now that we've learned how to cook, kubobe is a proper year. Baganda men, no more excuses of eating outside here on Kaza as citizen. <laughs> as citizen men, we have learned today the whole step up to when the food is ready to be put on the table. Please go to our Facebook page. It is called Know Your Roots and post your comments there. We'll be sure to get back to you. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Atiang Laura, your host. I love you for watching. Know your roots. Know your roots. Yeah, 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 mama.